Hello class, welcome to numerical methods and analysis. For lecture one, we'll have the errors. We'll start with um, the accuracy and precision in order to better understand what an error is um, with a view to numerical methods. Accuracy um, refers to how close a computed or measured value agrees with the true value. Precision, this refers to how close computed or measured values agree with each other. So accuracy, it's with respect to the true value. Precision, it's with respect to um, the measured values themselves. The opposite of that would be inaccuracy and imprecision. Inaccuracy is the deviation from the true value, while imprecision refers to the magnitude of scatter. To illustrate graphically, let's use this target practice. We liken the bullet holes to the predictions of a numerical technique whereas the bullseye represents the truth. A is inaccurate because the bullet shots are centered on the upper left quadrant. It's also imprecise because the shots are scattered, as you can see in figure A. B is inaccurate uh, accurate because the shots are centered on the bullseye, but it's imprecise because it's scattered. So accurate yet imprecise. For C, this one is inaccurate because the shots are centered in the upper left quadrant, but it's precise because the shots are close to each other. Now, D is both accurate and precise. So, mo ang ang um, gusto ma-achieve. In numerical methods, error is a collective term. It represents both the inaccuracy and imprecision of our predictions. So, inaccuracy plus imprecision, that's the error. The question now is, um, why do we have error? The short answer is this word, approximation. Numerical errors arise because we use approximations to represent exact mathematical operations and exact mathematical quantities. When the error is the result of using approximations to represent exact mathematical procedures, we call it truncation error. An example is in the falling parachutist problem in our previous lecture videos. When we approximate the derivative of the parachutist's velocity by a finite divided difference equation. Next is when the error is because of approximating exact numbers by using numbers with limited significant figures, then the error is called round off error. One famous example is using 3.14 to approximate um, pi. Mathematically, error is just um, the true value minus the approximate value. With respect to the true value, error can be designated as true error, true fractional relative error, and true percent relative error. Notice that the equation shown has subscript t to indicate that the error is normalized to the true value. However, in actual situations, such information is rarely available. For numerical methods, the true value will be known only when we deal with functions that can be solved analytically. Such will typically be the case when we investigate the theoretical behavior of a particular technique for simple systems. An example of a simple system is when we solve for the falling parachutist's um, terminal velocity in our previous lecture videos. Now, in real-world applications, we obviously will not know the true answer beforehand. For these situations, an alternative is to normalize the error using the best available estimate of the true value, and that is to the approximate value itself. As in the equations shown where A signifies the true, um, the error is norm normalized to an approximate value. For such cases, the error is often estimated as the difference between previous and current approximations. Another thing to note is that error can be negative. An instance is when the previous exam uh, approximation is greater than the current approximation. Oftentimes, we are not concerned with the sign of the error, but on the magnitude. Another question to consider is, when is error acceptable? The answer is when the error is lower than the specified tolerance. If this relationship holds, 
our result is assumed to be within the pre-specified acceptable level, and we can thus stop performing more computations. Now, if you want to assure that our result is correct to at least n significant figures, we can use this criterion. And that's it. Remember that you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. Next time, we'll discuss on finding the root of um, equation. And that's all. Thanks.